dance a little bit. <laughs> I don't know what it says, but it looks very cute and adorable. I'm sure you could run that through Google Translate. He looks big clock. Hey, welcome back to RC 101 with the Dallas Flyer. We finally got our hands on the brand new JYU Hornet S. This is an amazing aircraft. Retails from anywhere from $239 to $440. It's a brushless aircraft that's designed for long-term use. It's designed for FPV pilots. It's designed for people who want to actually get really high quality video. And it's a very nice modular system. It's got this real nice modular smart battery that's going to give you, oh, 15, 20 minutes worth of uh, flight time. The on-off button is also you press it once and then hold it and it turns the aircraft on. And that's also how you start and stop the battery charging when you plug it into the charger. Charger. It's a very nice battery. Haven't had any problems with it. If you want the FPV version, it's going to be the basic version. It's going to be about oh, 310 bucks, and it's going to come with this really nice 5.8 gigahertz camera here with a nice wide angle lens. And it just slaps in place here. Pretty quick and easy. And of course, if you want to uh, have a gimbal on it, there is a gimbal that's not available yet. It'll be out next month, and hopefully we'll get a chance to test that. But you can just clip that in right here, and it's just another nice modular piece. So you can change it from a racer to a camera platform in as little as a minute or so. It's uh, fully brushless, really powerful. It has three flight modes, a beginner, a normal, and an advanced mode. In beginner and normal mode, it actually uses GPS satellites and a barometer to hold its altitude and hold its position. It does a really good job at it. And in advanced mode, it'll go up to, oh, they say 70 miles an hour. Okay, see, one button press. It should launch itself up about 15 feet. I think I need to recalibrate my compass. Probably help. Yeah, I need to recalibrate the compass on it. If you notice it doing something like this, kind of drifting about, and it's not hovering stably, then you want to go ahead and recalibrate your uh, compass. It's pretty easy to do that. And it's kind of fun to watch somebody do it. But yeah, you press both your sticks like that, your lights will start blinking for you. You're going to pick it up, and you're going to start spinning it around like this. Solid green lights means that it's calibrated and they say you should turn the aircraft off and then turn it back on and save those calibration settings. Okay, we've recalibrated our compass and let's try that one button launch again. That's more like it. That's going straight up, even though we've got a nice crosswind there. Flying itself straight up. Holds itself about 15 feet. That's flying itself pretty good. Bring it down a little lower. Then let go of the control. And as you can see, when it's calibrated properly, it can actually fly itself pretty well. Set the transmitter down. And we'll dance a little bit. <laughs> so that's pretty good. It's using the GPS satellites, it's using the altimeter, and it's doing a pretty good job flying itself right now. Full speed, you've got to turn off the GPS. Full speed, it does have a tendency to over yaw once you get to top speed. like that. 
to just let go of the controls and relax for a second. That, that is worth a couple of dollars right there. Just, you know, relax, chill out, have a drink, you know, party for a second. about 15 minutes on this thing and that's pretty nice with the smart battery charge time's going to be about an hour or so but when it comes to racing i mean this is a decent racer it's it's not going to compete at you know the high end 250 racer level you're not going to win a competition with it but you can definitely learn how to race with this aircraft you can definitely learn how to fly with this aircraft and the fact that you can just let go of the controls and it holds itself stable like that just really, really makes it worth the, worth the price. And it's a really good modular system too. I love the camera, uh, the easily replaceable gimbal. It's a nice aircraft. It's a really nice, smooth flying aircraft. I really enjoyed it and I really enjoy the uh, transmitter that comes with it. It's a dual channel video receiving transmitter. It's got a one button launch return home button. Of course you've got dials for the uh, gimbal if you want to tilt it up and down. You've got buttons to switch up and down on the frequency of the uh, video monitor and of course it, eventually they're going to release a pair of FPV goggles that'll go with it that I'm pretty sure are going to plug into this same audio video power jack because this monitor is not powered. It's just you know a basic monitor. You can actually detach it and just fold this little compartment in and it's a really nice sleek little transmitter it's actually got a built-in rechargeable battery um, you recharge it through uh, this USB port and if you want to reprogram this transmitter you can reprogram it through this USB port so it's a very nice high-end transmitter here feels really nice in your hands good action if you want to reprogram this aircraft as well, you also can reprogram it. Uh, JYU has released a piece of software for the Hornet that will let you reprogram the first two modes.
this is our 11.1 volt 3 cell 2500 milliamps smart battery with a built in battery tester. This is the button you use to turn the aircraft on and off. You actually press the button once, then press it and hold it down for a second, and it'll actually turn the aircraft on or off. And when you want to recharge this battery, you go ahead and plug it into the uh, smart battery charger. It'll start beeping at you. And then you press the button once and then press it and hold it. And it'll start charging. When it's done charging, the light will turn green. The only real problem I had was the battery charger does have a tendency to get pretty hot. It could use a built-in fan, but it doesn't have one, so I like to not keep it on a flat surface. I like to kind of tilt it up just a little bit to get a little air underneath it, because that's the part that gets really hot. But otherwise, yeah, it'll charge it in about 45 minutes. It is going to be a little expensive to get replacement batteries, but it's a decent system. Should last a good long time. You know, I have to say, I really enjoyed flying the Hornet S from JYU. This is a real high quality, nicely polished aircraft with some great components. The camera works really well. I'm really looking forward to testing out the dual axis gimbal. It'll be out in June, along with a smartwatch that'll work in tandem with the follow me feature and the waypoint navigation feature. There's also going to be an Android powered transmitter with an embedded monitor. I'm not sure if it'll use the 5.8 gigahertz video spectrum or the Wi-Fi video, but hopefully in June we'll have a chance to test it out. This is really a great aircraft for beginners who are looking for something that will last a long time and have everything they need. It's very user friendly. It's a lot of fun. Great price. We really appreciate you guys checking it out with us today. As always, don't forget to subscribe and stay tuned for more.